Homemaker. Yes. Do you have any last minute advice for a guest of the June the Homemaker show? You should probably remind June to preheat the oven. Oh, you might want to preheat the oven. Right. Gotcha. Okay. She's a homemaker, don't you know? She'll teach you how to cook and sew. And how to wield a hammer. It's the June the Homemaker Show. Hello, and welcome to the June the Homemaker Show. I am your host, June the Homemaker. And today on June the Homemaker, we have a very special guest. Everyone, this is Billy, the boy next door. Oh, I'm supposed to speak. You're uh, supposed to speak. Hi, I'm... Today on June the Homemaker, we are going to be making Sally Lunn muffins because we are in a play right now, namely Gilbert and Sullivan's The Sorcerer, which will only make any sense to the most esoteric of you. I mean all of you because you all know me who watch this show. The show mentions in one of its choruses the Sally Lunn bun, the rollicking bun even. The gay. Same. Sally Lunn. The gay Lund. Sally Lunn. We don't know if Sally Lunn actually was gay, but if she were... But if she were, Prop 8 just got overturned. That's right. So good for her. Apparently, there are many different versions of the Sally Lunn. When I went looking for a recipe online, there were many, many of them, and some of them were little individual buns, and you found a loaf, A right? loaf. One full, whole loaf. Loaf. A giant one. One gay loaf. So there are many different recipes, some with yeast, some without. We are going to do one without yeast. This is a recipe that I found on allrecipes.com. Um, links in my pants. We have these directions and it looks like it's going to be pretty easy. So the first thing we need flour, baking powder, and salt. That is salt. We don't need that. That is sugar. We need that one. Are you making a tower of the ones that we need? Yes. This is the this is one that we need. That is not one that we need. That is one that we need. So what I'm gonna have you do, if you could put two cups of flour and three teaspoons baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt in this bowl. You might want to preheat the oven. I did. I've already greased the muffin pan. You don't even know. I already greased it. I, while you were doing that, I wish that I had like a recipe stand. People send people presents on YouTube sometimes. Anybody want to send me a recipe stand? I'm going to put in this bowl the shortening. Now listen, whenever you see shortening in a recipe, it means butter, you guys. Don't use shortening. Don't go for the Crisco. It is gross. Just use butter. I always use salted butter because I do not kid around. A quarter cup of butter, which is half a stick, and sugar. Oh, you left the sugar right next to me. How nice of you. I'm a good nice helper. Work. So this is a quarter cup of butter and a quarter cup of white sugar together in a bowl. And I'm going to cream them. Do you know what creaming means? Don't hurt me. Creaming means that you put butter and sugar in a bowl and then you mix it with a oh. mixer. See. That's what that means. So I'm going to take this mixer and make a lot of noise for about 30 seconds. Oh. You know, I always say it's going to make a lot of noise, and then it's never as much noise as I remember it having made the last time. See, and then it makes these little balls of deliciousness, which are just little balls of butter and sugar, pretty much. That's what makes your buns the best in the business. Gee, June, I have an egg here. You sure do. Do you know what you're going to do with it? Scramble it? Yes, in that tiny bowl. No way. Yeah, for real. With a fork and everything, which I have not provided you. Then, I am going to be stirring in that beaten egg once you've sufficiently beat. Wow. You did the one-handed break. I sure did, June. Wow. I I've never been able to do the one-handed break. My mom showed me how to do that when I was a boy. So I'm going to be putting in that beaten egg and a cup of milk. I am going to use 2% because these Sally Lund buns, there isn't a whole lot of flavoring to them, so I feel like you just want to be either hearty and biscuity so that you can put other things on them. Like what, June? Well, the recipe that I got from allrecipes.com has a picture with it. Someone had done a raspberry filling, jellies and jams 
frequently on the Sally Lund buns in the show, they say the strawberry jam goes on the Sally Lund bun. But I could also picture a Nutella. So I'm just waiting on you there. Did I beat the egg to your liking, June? I, you sure did. I have a lot of practice at beating my eggs. They can go in here anytime. Okay. <laughs> It's always best to wash your hands after you've dealt with raw eggs. Oh yes, that's true. You might get bad things in your stomach if you don't. I almost never follow that rule. With meat I do, but not usually with eggs. Not that I'm really using meat a whole lot these days. Uh, do me a favor. Out of that drawer in front of you, take a whisk. Mix up all that stuff together so that it's not just a pile of powders. It's sort of a well-distributed pile of powders. So now do me a favor. Would you put about a third of that in here? Just eyeball it. You know, you guys know I'm not big on measures. You can do a little more dumping than that, I, th I think. Oh, oh, Just okay. for like okay. a third. All right, so I think, I think maybe you could put half of what's left in this bowl. If you could do that, that would be super duper. Nice tie, by the way. Thank you. Again, the dumping would probably be oh, oh, a right. little more efficient. Right. Than. We're ready to add the rest of this. You want to do the honors? I shall. Really, though, you could just you could just dump it. Oh shoot! I keep forgetting. The last dump is always the hardest one. See, now, now this looks like a biscuit dough. Look at how much that looks like a biscuit dough right now. That has a fabulous texture, Jew and the homemaker. It sure does. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Sally Lunn would be proud. Sally Lunn would be so effing proud of us right now. Though I'm sure she wouldn't use such language. language. Jew and the homemaker isn't exactly top of her class in uh, etiquette school. Jew and the homemaker lives life rough. Jew and the homemaker lives on the streets, you guys. Do you know this trick? This trick for getting, um, for getting stuff off your things? No. What you do is you hold your little whisker dingies here <laughs> inside the bowl and no, 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 not those whisker dingies. Oh, no, not These. those whisker And you just turn the speed up really high and then it flings the dough off and then when you turn them off, these are like almost clean and everything. And you can fling it without flings being flung everywhere. Yes, you can. But you have to have a deep enough bowl. You don't want to do that like over a plate because then it will just spray all over the room. You know what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down on YouTube? Okay, so now we have to try them. Well, it tastes like a pretty classic biscuit dough. Bun. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, June the Homemaker, this is just rollicking with flavor. <laughs> it is not in any way rollicking with flavor, but I think that's sort of the point. The Sally Lun is like a mirror for your soul, because you try it, and then whatever you think of is like, you know what this would be good with? That like defines who you are. Don't you think? Coupling jam and biscuit in matrimony. Right. Which is the right. whole point of the operetta. Right. I've already washed my hands, everyone. Hands washed. For the Sally Lun, since I want it to feel like a biscuit, I don't want it to be in the little paper cup. You know, I want it to feel like a freestanding biscuit. So I'm just gonna make it in the muffin tin by itself, which I have already greased. Applause for me. Applaud right now, please. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice of you. Ordinarily, I'm in a room by myself, and I have to be like applaud and imagine them all applauding at home. But you did it for me right here and that, everything. That's why I'm here, June the homemaker. <laughs> that is why you're here. Now, Mom the Homemaker is a little late for her high school reunion. <gasps> That's right. Oh, guys, this weekend is Mom the Homemaker's high school reunion, and also it's Mom the Homemaker's 10th anniversary, which is what these flowers are for. So everybody post comments. Post in the comments below, happy anniversary, Mom the Homemaker, because it'll just make her thrilled. So we're going to fill these muffin cups. Billy, where did you go? To the Homemaker. Billy, wh where are you? Did you preheat the oven? I did. Well, we're going to fill these two-thirds of the way full. And by two-thirds of the way, I mean I'm going to sort of put some in there in a way that sort of looks like two-thirds by volume and hope that it evens out while it bakes. It's like springy. It's because it's rollicking. And break. It is. It's rollicking. It's rollicking in the pan. <laughs> it's rollicking. We have rollicking, everyone. This recipe is supposed to make 12 Sally buns. And it is coming out to do that pretty well. 
So now these are going to go in the oven. What does it say about how long to cook them? 375 degrees for 30 minutes. So I'm going to put on the timer for 25 and then check them. We'll come back and let you know how we managed to divine exactly how they were done. We may use a Ouija board or we may use Mom the Homemaker's Pet Rock or a barometer. But we'll figure it out somehow. Okay, so we're back. And we baked the Sally Lunds. And um, we ended up putting them in the oven at 375 for exactly 30 minutes. They did not stick to the pan, and they're these little biscuity things, and they're really adorable. So that's how you make Sally Lunds, and you can put things on them. And I think that you should post in the comments below what you put on your Sally Lund. I agree, June the homemaker. <laughs> Thanks to... Billy the boy next door for helping us make these lovely Sally Lund buns. And thank you to June the homemaker for being a savior to all stay-at-home cooks and other homemakers on YouTube. So this is June the homemaker here with Billy the boy next door and we are signing off. Bye!